Okay, so let's make this a quick one. I want to talk to you guys about my experience with the Jabra Elite 7 Actives. Sorry if that's like overexposed. Anyway, I picked these up at Best Buy because as you know, I run here in New York City. I'm a pretty active person and I needed a pair of headphones that were water resistant. Long story short, I had the Bose Quiet Comfort 2s. I love those because of the stability fin, but the other day I was running and I got caught in a storm. Now, even though the water wasn't too crazy, like even though the rain wasn't too intense, I mean, we got soaked, don't get me wrong, but it wasn't like torrential, torrential downpour. I'll show you guys a clip. Um, after that day, the Bose headphone, I think it was the right one, just didn't have a good connection anymore. It kept like breaking up or like double layering the audio. It would, it would freak out. So instead I, uh, looked up some headphones that had a higher IPX rating. I think this one has an IPX rating of 57, which means that you can literally pour water on these and they'll be okay. That being said, uh, I'll give you three great things about them and then one terrible thing about them because I honestly took these for a run about 3.5 miles and I had a horrible experience. And I wanted to love these, uh, but unfortunately, I will be returning them. Now, if this is your first time watching my videos, just to show you my credentials, here I have the Sennheisers. I dropped a video about these. I love these. They work very well for what I need, but I'm not crazy about uh, the cloth case. I also have the Sony's right here, the Sony WXM 1000 M4s. Uh, these are great. I love them as well. They work pretty well for me, but they're a little big, kind of hurt my ears. I've been testing these out. I also have the AirPods. I've had the AirPods since the day they came out. So I'm very familiar with the AirPods. I'm a little spoiled as to what I want out of headphones, but realistically, all I want is a pair of headphones that has USB-C, wireless charging, has water resistance, and a compact size case and comfortable buds. Because I'm running a marathon later this year, I'm running a 5K and some other stuff as well, I want to be able to listen to music for the duration, so battery life is also important too, and noise cancellation. While here in New York City is super important because you're on the train, there's police cars, there's sirens, there's loud conversations going on, it's important. The transparency mode and being able to control that is very important as well because I want to be aware of my surroundings. That being said, Jabra on paper should have covered all those bases. It should have been the perfect headphone for an active person like me. And just to preface this, Jabra has so many different models and iterations of these type of buds. They have the Jabra 4s, the Jabra 5s, the Actives, the Elites. Um, the sevens, which I have here, I thought that the sevens were the newest and best model that might not be the case. So your mileage may vary when you go into Best Buy and see what's available. I like this one and I chose this one over the four of the fives, even though I might consider the fives, um, because I think the fives have a bigger case than this. I wanted a smaller case because if I'm running, I want to be able to take this case with me just in case I need an emergency charge. Here, let me show you the buds. That's what they look like. So uh, first good thing about this is the case. As you can see, this case is incredibly small. It is small, it is thin, it is light, it has USB-C and wireless charging. That case is awesome. There's no problem with me sticking this in my running shorts and going for a run. Now, here's the AirPod case right next to it. While the footprint is a little bit different, they're not too off. In terms of size and thickness, it's just marginally bigger, but not enough that you can't put this in a pair of jean pockets and forget about it. Okay, so case size, 10, right? Case size, 10 on a rating system. We're doing a rating system now. Second thing that's important to me is the buds. I need buds that are small. Now, these buds are small, as you can see right here. The Jabra Buds, incredibly small. I haven't tried out the Link Bud S, but I'm assuming that these rival those in terms of lightweightness. Lightweightness, that's a word. We just made it up, lightweightness. And I'll show you what the buds look like. They are very small right here. They have a push button, an actual physical button underneath a membrane. Some people said it was touch sensitive, it's not touch sensitive. Uh, it's a push button, it has a little itty bitty like, I don't wanna say stem, but ear canal thing right here and it fits so nicely in your ear. Spoiler alert, they did not stay in my ears. I went for a run 3.5 miles and I constantly had to try to push them and readjust them in my ear, but we'll get to that. So case, awesome. Size of the buds, awesome. 
Uh, transparency mode or whatever they call it is nice because you can adjust the level of transparency that you want in the app. The app is really good. So I guess that's the third thing. Third thing, the app has a really good interface and lots of customizability to the controls and the sound. Now, the two bad things. The first bad thing that I'll tell you is that they have a certain type of white noise when you're in the aware mode. It has a no uh, like white noise in the background and it doesn't sound great with voices. It does give you a very heightened awareness of your surroundings. So that's, that's, I can live with that. I don't need the best noise canceling and I don't need the best aware mode uh, in the world because again, I'm running these. The aware mode is more of a priority for me and this one gives me a good enough aware mode. I don't know if it's as good as Sennheiser or Apple or the Sony's. I think Sony is still the best aware mode. Uh, it's not as good as the Bose one either. The Bose one, it has like an adaptive technology. I don't know if this one has adaptive. I have to do stuff to make it sound low, medium, or high, but that's relatively easy to do in the app. My biggest gripe with these, the biggest downside of these is that for whatever reason, I can't get these to stay in my ear. I use the medium size tip and the left ear would literally push itself out. I use the small size tips and it wouldn't stay in at all. I ran and I'll show you a clip of me running and it was a horrible experience. I could not get into the run. I could not enjoy my music. I was worried about my safety because these things were falling out of my ears and I was constantly reaching over trying to shove them in. And for the life of me, I could not get them to sit in my ears. Now I'll pull these out real quick and I'll show you me. They also don't like those little LED lights. I feel like that's very cheap. Uh, I'm gonna put this in my ear. They also, when you put them in your ear, they have like a horrible screeching sound, like a Mega Man boss. I just ate the mic. All right, see, I'm doing this with two hands. I don't wanna be doing this with two hands. I wanna be able to easily pop these in. And right now it's like fighting me to stay in my ears. They're just very slippery buds. It might be because of that silicone tip. It might be that my ears are weird. Mind you, I got the Sony's to fit in my ears. So if the Sony's fit in your ears, then you can make these work. I got the Sennheiser's to fit in my ear. If you can get the Sennheiser's to fit, they should work for you as well. I got the AirPods to fit in my ears and I got the Bose Quiet Comfort. So this is the first time I've experienced something so bad in terms of fitting in my ear. And I, I will admit that I have small ears, relatively speaking. Uh, so does my girlfriend and some of the headphones that she uses, unless they're like the basic AirPod Pros third generation, they don't really fit in her ears. I've tried to put the Sony ones in her, in her ears and forget about it. They would not fit. She has tiny ears. My ears are a little bit bigger than hers. Um, and this is what they look like, just for the record. Maybe too white, too bright. Anyway, so you can see them in my ears right there. And they just constantly fed out, fell out. And I'll show you a clip of me on my run frustrated so you can... Uh, see my frustration because they would not stay in my ears and i wanted these to work because i got caught in the rain with my bow is quiet comfort twos and they just stopped submitting or transmitting a signal correctly it was ridiculous like one audio headphone would put like a double layer of the signal so i would hear the voice like twice and it kind of messed up and that freaked me out because i don't want to spend 250 dollars on a pair of headphones that if i get caught in the rain by accident they're screwed and i'm out of the return period or the warranty period i have to send my headphones out that's a headache so i wanted these to work so bad but unfortunately i can't recommend these jabras uh for active use because they don't fit in my ear now that's subjective they might fit in your ears but what I want you to do, because I was not going to test these out. I watched a bunch of reviews of people saying that these are great for working out and running. And I, I want to tell you not to disregard Jabra altogether, but to make sure that you fully test your headphones before you get outside of that return window. Because I've tested a bunch of headphones and there's some that I love. There's some that I hate. Now that I've tested them all, I know I can go back to the one that I love, which is Bose Quiet Comfort 2. I think I'm going to go with that one unless the Sony W... F1000 M5s come out and those are amazing. Five somethings, I'll put a photo of them right here, might be a better option because they increase the size of the case. They have wireless connectivity. Not that I want a bigger case, but I think the case gives you more battery life than this one. Uh, don't quote me on that. Check the specs yourself. I'm probably too lazy to put it in here. But I think those have updated size. I think they're supposed to be more angular in design. Don't quote me on that even though these are pretty angular already, I think they have a different design. These are almost like a teardrop shape, as you can see right there. 
that's like a teardrop shape. I think the other ones are more angular, so they might have a better fit. So I'm gonna look into that and see if those uh, five options are better for me. So when it comes to wireless headphones, if you've been on the journey with me, um, the Jabra's get a zero, and that's my selfish scale because they fell out of my ears and ruined my run. I would rather have the Bose Quiet Comfort Twos. For the record, Let's see if I can get a decent thumbnail. Anyway, stay tuned when I potentially get something else to try. I feel like I should just get the Link Buds, but I'm waiting for the Sony uh, Mark Fives 1000 WF long name. Sony, work on those names. See you next time.